Well, hello, and welcome to part one of our three-part series called Proactive Tax Planning, and we're going to get started right now. I'm John Williams, the owner and advisor at Ironwood Wealth Management. Today's goal is to provide some helpful information to those who are about to or have already filed their 2020 income tax forms and to also provide some proactive tax planning tools for 2021. Before I begin, I always find it helpful to review that there are five key areas of financial planning and they are preservation planning, tax planning, retirement planning, estate planning, and investment planning. Now, even though today's presentation is more about tax planning, as a comprehensive wealth management firm, we try to always consider the impact of any recommendation we make, not just on one of these areas, but all of these areas for our clients. Proactive tax planning should always be a key focus when you're reviewing your personal financial situation. One of our goals is to point out as many tax saving opportunities and strategies as possible for clients. This workshop will review some of the broad tax issues and some potential tax reduction ideas. As we go through this workshop, please remember that not all ideas may be appropriate for your personal situation. This workshop is really informational only and we always recommend that you address any tax strategy with your tax professional. Let's first look at some helpful information for filing or understanding your 2020 taxes. In 2020, there were still seven federal income tax brackets. Here are the tables for three of the most common ways taxpayers file. That is single, head of household, and married filing jointly. The amounts in each bracket were slightly adjusted from the prior year due to inflation. The lowest bracket of the seven tax rates is 10% and the tops tax rate this year is still 37%. Also the standard deduction, if you don't itemize, is shown for each category. The deduction limitation for state and local taxes is currently set to remain through the end of 2025. If you itemize, a major change that still has a big impact is that state and local tax deductions, often referred to as SALT, is limited to a combination of a total of $10,000 or $5,000 for married taxpayers filing separately for state income and property taxes. Long-term capital gains were still taxed in 2020 at favorable rates so they can be more tax efficient than ordinary income. Rates for capital gains are 0, 15, and 20% if they're long-term. So that means long-term capital gains are usually better tax-wise than many other types of income. Charitable donations are still deductible for those who itemize. However, if you don't itemize starting in 2020, the CARES Act created a new charitable deduction available to taxpayers who use the standard deduction and don't itemize their deductions. This new benefit is known as a universal deduction. It allows for an above the line charitable deduction of up to $300. To qualify, the charitable gift must be in cash or cash equivalent and made to a qualified 501c3 charity and should have been made on or before December 31st of 2020. As the tax form here shows, it is the new line nine on your tax form. Retirement plan funding is always something you should consider. If you have not already funded your retirement account for 2020, there could still be opportunities to do so. To see if you can, please check with your tax preparer or call us for more information and details. Here are some commonly overlooked tax items and deductions. Reinvested dividends. This is not a tax deduction, but it is a calculation that is important for tax purposes. 
Some investors have mutual fund or stock dividends that are automatically used to buy extra shares. Please remember that each reinvestment increases your tax basis in that fund. That will, in turn, affect your capital gains calculation when you decide to redeem your shares. Forgetting to include reinvested dividends in your cost could result in a double taxation of the dividends, once in the year when they were paid out and reinvested, and then again later when they are included in the proceeds of the sale. If you're not sure what your basis is, ask the fund or us for help. Carried over items from prior years. Don't forget, items carried over from prior years because you exceeded annual limits such as capital losses, charitable contributions, and certain tax credits. Please make sure if you switched tax preparers that they see your prior year tax return and look for those items. Charitable gift that's made directly from an IRA. Individuals who are at least 70 and a half years old can still exclude from their gross income qualified charitable distributions known as Qualified Charitable Distribution or QCD from their IRA of up to $100,000 per year. These distributions must be made directly to a charity. Remember to double check on what counts as a qualified charity and distribution before using this strategy. Now let's look at some helpful proactive tax planning strategies for 2021. Let's briefly look at the 2021 tax brackets. There are still seven federal income tax brackets that have been slightly adjusted from 2020. Long-term capital gains are still currently scheduled at favorable rates, and it's never too early in the year to start contributing to your retirement plan. If you have any questions about your retirement plan, please just give us a call. You also might want to examine taking advantage of annual exclusion gifts. For 2021, the maximum amount of gift tax exemption is $15,000 per person. For example, you can give up to that amount to a family member without having to pay gift tax. Some ideas for gifting can include contributing to a working child or grandchild's IRA, gifting to a 529 plan, which is tax, a tax sheltered plan for college expenses, the new above the line charitable deduction we showed you earlier for those who do not itemize increases in 2021 from $300 to $600 for taxpayers who are married filing jointly. If you're an individual filer, it's still $300. Also, it could be helpful to formulate a 2021 tax projection. A qualified tax preparer should be able to review your 2020 situation and all of your expectations for 2021 so they can provide you with a 2021 tax projection. Here are some other proactive tax planning strategies because we believe that taking a proactive approach is better than a reactive approach, especially regarding income tax strategies. If you are close to the standard deduction level, a strategy to consider is bunching your charitable donations into a donor advised fund. As this example shows, someone who is slightly over the standard deduction each year can bunch three years of charitable contributions into a donor advised fund in one year. This could bring a much larger overall tax savings, in this example, three years. Then as the other side of the screen shows, from your donor advised fund, you can still give your favorite charity money each year. A critical area to review in tax planning is what we refer to as overall family tax bracket management. Simply put, if you are in a higher tax bracket than your beneficiaries, then it might make sense to let them take the distributions in their tax bracket rather than in yours. However, if your beneficiaries happen to be in a higher tax bracket, then it might make sense to take distributions in your bracket. Convert those accounts to Roth IRAs and then leave them an account that although still has to be taken out in 10 years after you pass away, it can still grow tax free for up to 10 years. A key step is to explore considering your marginal tax rate and your beneficiary's marginal tax rate each year. This is something we try to think about for clients 
with large retirement accounts. For some people, exploring a Roth IRA conversion could be helpful. Some benefits from Roth IRA conversions can include, well, they can lower your overall taxable income in the long run. Roth IRAs enjoy tax-free compounding. Roth IRAs have no required minimum distributions and Roth IRAs allow tax-free withdrawals for beneficiaries. Whether to convert part or all of your traditional IRA to a Roth IRA depends on your situation. It is best to prepare a tax projection and calculate the appropriate amount to convert. There are several pros and cons to making this change. Please call us or talk with your tax advisor to see if this makes sense for you. So what can you expect from us? Well, you can expect regular communication, more frequent discussions, and you can expect that we are continuously reviewing economic, tax, estate, and investment issues for our clients. We hope you've received our special tax report already. If you haven't, or if you'd like a copy to send to someone that you think can benefit from the information in it, please give us a call and we'd be happy to share the report. You know, we would like to help others in 2021. In fact, we would be honored if you shared a couple friends' names that you think can benefit from our information. Remember, your health and well-being is a high priority. We appreciate the opportunity to assist you with your financial needs. Thank you for watching part one of our three-part series. Be sure to tune in for more important information. We'll see you in part two. Mm -hmm.